All right, it's been a while since I've done a build progress video um, or even like a building video. So like I said before, we need to add a second battery into this car. So I got some material here and I'm gonna walk you guys through the steps of how to build a dirt cheap battery tray. So first thing I gotta do is go ahead, pull this battery out because I'm gonna be using this battery as a template to make the tray. So we have our battery pulled out. You can kind of get an idea of how I built this tray out of some uh, angled steel there. We have some mount tabs there and another one down there. And we just belt, bent up this little aluminum retainer for the battery, put a little bit of uh, foam on the bottom of it to insulate it that way it's not uh you know too strapped down too tight and give it a little bit of a cushion when we, when we tighten it down there but now i'm going to take the battery bring it over to the bench and we're going to start measuring it up so we can get our steel cut all right we have our battery on our bench now i'm going to go ahead we got to get measurements on this plane this plane and this plane right here also finally got a new uh little welding bench there to get rid of that tiny little thing so much bigger much sturdier it's also on casters so i can actually move it around pretty easily but it'll work a hell of a lot better than that and uh bought it from work for like 30 bucks so hell of a deal i've basically been buying all of our old equipment that we're not using <laughs> that bench that drill press this hoist so Big shout out to Vector Motorsports for selling me all the old stuff they're not using anymore. So, let's get some measurements on this real quick. So the battery's 10 inches, so we'll go 10 and a quarter by, let's see, it's about seven and an eighth, but if we bring the top all the way to the top of the battery, when we bolt the strap down, the strap's gonna be higher. So we're gonna bring it a little bit lower than the uh, top of the battery. So we'll make the height seven inches. And the width, width will also be seven. Actually, I uh, already messed up one of my measurements. The height, actually I double checked it. The height is actually going to be seven and a quarter so i said it was going to be seven inch but it's actually going to be seven and a quarter so first i'm going to get the two two pieces cut for here and those are each going to be ten and a quarter so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build our base for it now i already went ahead and i cut out two ten inch pieces of steel right there and basically we're going to get that squared up and set on the bottom and then we're gonna take the measurement from here to here. And then we're gonna need to notch out a piece of angle so it can kinda just slip right into there. So the next two pieces we need to cut are gonna be seven inches long. So now we have our two pieces cut. Here's the other side right here. Like that. Now what we need to do is notch it out so it'll slide right in there. And there we go, we marked our notch spots. So once we cut those out, this piece will slide right in. I'm gonna go ahead, get these notched out real quick. Now we have all of our bases cut, so we're gonna weld together the base plate first. And we're basically just gonna square it up and tack it. Square it up, tack it, square it up, tack it. That way we can try to keep it as true as possible when we put it together. And our base is all tacked in place. So now that we have this all 
tacked up. We're gonna go ahead and set the battery down in it. We just wanna make sure the battery still fits. It didn't pull or anything like that and that everything still lines up before we go ahead and final weld it. So we went ahead, set our battery down in there and it fits nice and snug, just like it should. So now I'm going to go ahead, final weld the base together, and then we can start working on the uprights and the back brace, and then the cross section that's going to give it a little more support. All right, so our bottom base for the battery tray is welded up. I'm gonna give this a few minutes to cool down. That way we can set the battery back in it and start measuring for the side pieces, the cross piece, and the bracing. All right, now that our base is done, we need to cut two more pieces that are six and a half inches. That way we can have one up right here, one up right here, and then build our cross beam in the center of it. All right, so now we have our uprights cut. I'm gonna go ahead, weld those on there. All right, now the next step is to build the tie bar that will go across here. But what we're gonna do differently is we're gonna have the angle come out this way on it. That way we have a flange that we can put a rib nut in to build our strap off of. So measure the distance between here and here, cut a piece to length for it. So it looks like we gotta cut it about nine and an eighth inch. All right, so we have our center brace cut out, lined up there. So now we're just gonna go ahead, weld that in place. After that, we got two more brackets to make. Uh, lower mount, pop a couple rib nuts in it, and that'll be done. Now our cross brace is done, we need to measure out the uh, support bracket that's going to go right here. So simple way to do that is lay your stock down and then just kind of line it up and we're going to mark it. So by setting it on there, we know exactly where our marks had to be. I'm just going to go ahead and make them a little bit darker so I can see them better. And I hope I have enough material here to do both sides, but I don't think I do. So I'll have to dig in my scraps, see if I have anything else. But we have our bar marked out. I don't know if you can see the lines. One right there, and then the other one over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that now. So I didn't have enough material to cut two long ones, so I ended up cutting two smaller ones, uh, just kind of dividing the material I had left. And uh, that's the gusset we're gonna have, so now I'm gonna go ahead, weld these on. And 
Now our tray is 90% complete. Only thing left to do, put the tab on there. That will have a rib nut in it. Drill a hole, put a rib nut there, so we can have our strap for the actual battery tied on. All right, so next step is we have to put the rib nuts in it. So I'm drilling the holes out right now. I'm gonna pop rib nuts in the top of there. So you can see I centered that, put a little hole in it, and I'm gonna put this rib nut in that. And this is going to be the lower bracket right here. So you can see I'm drilling this out to put a rib nut in that as well. So I'm gonna pop some rib nuts in those real quick, and then we are gonna line it up and get it welded onto the actual battery bracket. All right, so we have our rib nut put in the top here. We've got our lower mount bracket made with a rib nut in it. So now we just measured up center and marked it out here. And we just gotta go ahead and weld that on. Lower brackets done, welded on. Now, the actual tray itself is done, but what we do need to do is make a tie-down strap for it, and that's super easy. You just take some aluminum, uh, I use one inch by eighth inch, and you just measure it out, bend it over, and it's as simple as that. Uh, nothing really too complex there, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw one together anyways real quick actually before I can throw that together I got to wait for the tray to cool down now that we welded it so we can throw the battery back in it and just make sure our uh, marks and everything are lined up good all right so the final step of our battery tray here is building the strap for it so we have our aluminum right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna measure out the distance between here to here to here to here and then I'm going to add like an extra inch and a half to it just so I have a little bit of extra material just in case. And then we can just cut that off at the end. Let's see, we are eight, eight by six and a half by one, so 15 and a half. So we'll go 16, 17. We'll go 17 inches on it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole in the end of this real quick. That way, when we start, we can have at least one section bolted down already to make it easier to mark everything out. So we have that bolted on there now. What we're gonna do is kind of just line this up. So we're gonna start our radius bend right around there. And we're gonna do a 90 degree bend right there put an arrow that way so we know to make the bend on this side of the line okay and we just want to make sure that this is squared up as best as possible now that it's all squared up we're gonna preheat it with the torch that way it doesn't crack the bracket when we go to bend it There we go. So, looks like that's still gonna line up now. Now what we need to do is mark it down here, like right there. So, I'm gonna go ahead, mark that out, and then same thing again, put it in the vise, heat it up, and then do that last bend. So now what I wanna do is bend it on this side of that mark line. And what that's gonna do is the material loss is gonna be on this side, so it will be slightly higher than this bracket. That way it has some clamping force to pull it down. If we bend it on the, on the bottom of this, it'll actually make the bracket a little bit longer and it will lift the bracket up. So we want it to be a little bit shorter than, uh, you know, dead nuts on, that way it has some space to actually put clamping force down 
on top of the battery to hold it. So there we go, and that will strap right down on there like that. And go ahead and mark this and drill the hole now. And then that is our tie down bracket now. The one other thing, the one other thing I like to add to the, the brackets is a little strip of foam insulator on there. Now I thought I had a whole spool of that around here somewhere, but I can't seem to find it. So unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to show you guys that, but all it is is a piece of double-sided sticky foam or it's actually only single-sided sticky foam. Uh, it's just got like a backing on it. You peel off and you stick it on. Just gives it a nice little cushion on there so when you strap it down, it uh, holds it down actually a little bit tighter and it doesn't like, you don't have to worry about it rattling the bracket on the battery or anything like that. It's just a little added safety feature that I like to do, but I can't find any of it. So I'm gonna have to do that later, but that's it. Battery box completed. And all at the grand total cost of about eight bucks in material maybe so and it doesn't look bad I can weld it on anywhere on the chassis as I said we already have a spot we're gonna be putting that and it's a identical match to the other one we have so it'll work for us it's pretty universal so it'll work for probably anything anybody else needs to make it for you can always weld brackets onto it to mount it stuff like that but this is gonna be welded right onto the chassis in the back of our car Anyways, that's going to be it for this one. So a little build video of how to make a battery box for cheap or a battery tray, I should call it a cheap battery tray. So like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you're new and follow the builds along. And until the next one, I'll catch you guys later.